In recent seasons, I felt I've missed a good alternative in the Murren River to Geosock for fishing during the day, especially in faster water. And this fall, with very low water and most fish caught in faster currents, I finally decided to do something about it. So I created GoldenEye. It turned out to be an instant success. I caught salmon the first time I used the fly, having fished for less than 3 minutes. And they kept on coming. This is a big sea trout. I wanted a brighter fly than my silver eye shadow, which originally was designed for fishing in the dark. And this is what I came up with. Golden eye. This is what you need to tie the fly. Black thread, red plastic tube, arctic foxtail in color murrum, murrum orange and black. Annual hair, color rusty olive, flashy blue, holographic gold, black soft tackle and a gold cone. But remember, the fly is only one parameter to successful fishing. Most important, I think, is to fish where the fish are, because you can't catch anything in a known holding area, even if the fly swims, like Esther Williams. But you will catch something in a good fish holding place, although the fly looks like nothing and swims like a stone. So, find the hot spots. But you need a fly of course, and this is how to tie a golden eye. Well, the start here is depending on which tube system you use, but the key is to use a red plastic tube. In my case, I put a red tube over the smaller one to fix it. The length of the red tube is about one and a half centimeter, or half an inch. The thread is in place, now it's time for the flashy bow. Color, holographic gold. One straw will be enough. I wind it around the plastic tube before I secure it with a thread. And now to the first section of the wing. I use a small amount of arctic foxtail in color murrum, which, as you can see, is a rather light orange color. I use the same color to the second section, a little bit more foxtail though and longer than the first one.
I secure it with a thread. To the third section, I use Arctic Foxtail in color Murrum Orange, a rather burnt orange color. This section shall be longer than the previous sections. I secure it with a thread and cut off the material I don't need. So far, so good. Now it's time for some angel hair, color rusty olive. Three to five straw will do fine. Make them about as long as the third section of the wing. Yeah, looks alright. And now a small bundle of black arctic foxtail. This last section shall be the longest. Well, the wing is finished, now it's time for the front tackle. In this case, a black soft tackle. This one looks good enough. Adjust it to the right size. I secure it with a thread and wind it three times around the tube. Then I adjust the hackle. Then I tie two simple knots and secure the thread with super glue.
Be careful not to attach the glue on the front tackle. I cut the thread and attach the gold cone. This must of course be done before the super glue has hardened. Almost ready to go. I just have to cut the spare part of the tube and melt it a bit. Cut the tube some 3 mm in front of the cone. You need to be focused at this point. If you melt the tube too much, there will be no hole for the fishing line and all work will be in vain. There it is, golden eye. Just add water. Looks alright to me. The fly swims just like Esther Williams. This is a 10 kilo fish and it went totally bananas right from the start. Don't miss this clip, two of a kind, on my YouTube channel, Dr. John Dangland.